we start with this disturbing story. Cops are looking for a man who sexually assaulted a local teen while she was on her way to school. 19 Action reporter Blake Chenault has this latest on this developing story. Blake? We are going to try to give our viewing public as many looks as possible of the suspect. Here's a composite sketch. He remains at large tonight, should be considered armed and dangerous and a threat to the entire community. This teenage girl on the left has noticeable trouble walking after she was violated with a cell phone. I'm feeling very upset and sad right now, especially because he's still out here. And I don't want him to do it to nobody else because don't no girl deserve that. It was in this area where she was kidnapped and raped. And this is a composite sketch of the suspect. His heinous act has put mother and child in a world of pain. It's devastating to us that we have to go through this ordeal and that I have to watch my daughter wake up in the middle of the night, scream. The suspect is described as a dark-complected black man, about 30 years old with a muscular build and about 6 feet 2 inches tall. He has acne or bumps on both sides of his face and a teardrop tattoo near his left eye, and there's a gap between his two front teeth. Every time I close my eyes, I see his face. The girl was on her way to school when she was forced into the man's van. She was able to break out, but he chased her in back of this home where, again, the violation took place. This rape and kidnapping didn't happen in some back alley late at night. No, this happened in broad daylight between the hours of 8 and 10 o'clock in the morning as the team was walking to school. And she's worried that this criminal, emboldened by his brazen act, will strike again anywhere, anytime. There's a partial description of the vehicle, which possibly is still in the area. It's a full-size van painted a dull or flat black, and the license plate could end in the numbers 289. And again, police need the public's help in solving this crime. They are certain that somebody out there somewhere knows the suspect, knows him by name, knows where he is tonight, and they want that person to come forward and turn in the suspect before this individual has a chance to strike again. In Cleveland, Blake Chenault, 19 Action News. Horrible story. We want you to get another look at this guy cops are looking for. All you have to do is just head to our website, 19actionnews.com. It's one of our top stories.